Guys, what's the crack? Picking with Danny, and it's Danny here. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about whether I think it's time to buy or not. You can let me know in the comments what you think. <clears throat> um, and that'll be interesting to see. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. Welcome to the channel, Bitcoin with Danny. Uh, is Ireland's first Bitcoin consulting uh, company. We've taught literally thousands of people how to create retire early portfolios. We haven't given them the misinformation that all our talking heads and financial advisors have been doing over the last four years. We've actually give people accurate information so that they understand how to create a risk managed approach into owning the hardest, soundest, most valuable asset that has retired some of our community early and will continue to retire all our followers and our customers early, we believe by actioning our plan. So that's the crack. <laughs> um, so the market's going through a crash. We, we hit 45 grand, we're back to 40 grand. 10% pullback. And uh, the purpose of this is just to try and give you a little bit of information so you can make better decisions because all your success comes from your decisions. Everything in life is either a yes or a no, or I'll do it or I won't. So when you break it down, things are really, really simple. And it's about assembling the information and then making the decision and taking action. And believe it or not, those three things is where everyone falls down. But you're not gonna, because I'm gonna give you the information. Whether you take action or not, that's up to you. If you're one of my consulting clients, then I'll make sure you do. <clears throat> uh, or even if you're in a retire early club, because we have a community of people who all move forward together. So the market's crashed 10%. And um, lo and behold, all the people who are wishing it crashed are now sitting on the sidelines, wishing, waiting for it to crash more. And remember, these are all the people who, when it was low, they didn't buy because they thought it would go lower. So I'm gonna tell you a story, okay? I'm gonna tell you a story about who, how someone I know lost 500,000, half a million, by using this mindset. So you understand how much it harms your investing, how much it harms your uh, performance of your portfolio, <clears throat> okay? Now this is a true story. So earlier in 2023, earlier in 2023, the price of Bitcoin was 15 grand, okay? And we were sitting around there under 20 for ages, okay? Under 20 for ages. I know one person, I'll tell the truth, I know a lot of them. <laughs> okay, but I know a guy who didn't buy Bitcoin because he was um, waiting for the crash. Even though it, it hello chap, it was 69,000, it's now 15, like I think it's crashed. <laughs> but he was waiting for a further crash because he was like, well, it makes a difference to me because uh, if I can get it cheaper, that does make a big difference to me. And I was like, okay, that, well, that's a fair point, but you know you're trading a market and you're probably gonna lose. Um, but we're just thinking rationally, and this is why we're trying to educate the newer people and even the people who've been here, because guess what? People must repeat the mistakes over and over. January's coming. How many people are joining the gym only to give up by February? Hundreds of thousands, <laughs> millions throughout the world, okay? <laughs> Follow Fasting with Dini if you actually want to lose weight and get healthy this year. We'll change your life. Um, so, what this guy done was he waited. Okay, but then banks started to fail in America and Bitcoin started putting in God candles, meaning it started to go up. Because you'll notice if you've been in this space, when Bitcoin goes up, it goes up really, really fast. Okay, faster than you can nearly even find out it's gonna go up. It all happens. <clears throat> and um, so Bitcoin rallied. When it got to 30K, he couldn't take the pain anymore. He was like, ah, oh, feck it anyway. I should have bought a 15, I should have bought a 16, I should have bought a 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, no, 25, 26, when's the pullback? Oh, it went back to 25. No, I might go lower. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, buy the feckin' thing. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people do this. So that guy, instead of having, he had 15 grand to spend. Instead of having one full Bitcoin, he owns half of a Bitcoin, 0.5. Still a bit, pretty good place to be in if you got half a Bitcoin for 30 grand. You know, not too bad. Bitcoin sitting at whatever, 40 grand today. <clears throat> However, 
if you've done your homework, okay, or if you haven't, and you just listen to the likes of Fidelity or BlackRock or any of these massive institutions that have a team of researchers working to come up with Bitcoin price predictions, you know, you can be pretty sure that in 15 years, Bitcoin is trading at a million or more. Okay, that'd be a very conservative bet. 15 years, a million or more. So in 15 years time, my friend, who was trying to get his Bitcoin for maybe 2,000 euros cheaper, has cost himself 500 grand. Now let's put that into context to help you understand what it's the equivalent of. It's the equivalent of going into the bookies, okay, which is a terrible place to try and make money, because the bookie makes the money, you don't. But if you're going into the bookies with 500 grand in cash, sliding it under the counter to the teller, and uh, the girl looking at you and saying, you know this is a bet to win 2,000 euros. You're going to bet 500 grand to win two grand. Like, have you never listened to Bitcoin with Danny's channel? Do you know nothing about risk management? Like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? And this is what we do. We destroy the future value of our investments to try and save a few grand save pennies on the dollar. It's a rounding error. If you're going to actually understand Bitcoin and use it as a pension strategy, guys, it's a bloody rounding error whether you buy the thing 5% cheaper or 10% cheaper, okay? Or two grand cheaper. It makes no difference. But remember, traders are losers. They always find the market wrong 90% of the time, 99% of the time, 98%, pick your number, it's somewhere around there, okay? So if you're not going to get it right, then you're going to get it wrong. So you're trying to save two grand and you cost yourself half a million. You, my friend, should go and do some consulting with Dini so you can build a bloody strategy, stick to the strategy, not have to do any emotional investing and actually make some money and retire early, okay? But I'm just trying to sell you a course. <laughs> of course I am, because it'll make me money. But it'll make you more money as well. <clears throat> anyway. That's your bit of wisdom. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more Dini bomb since I'm on a rant here and hopefully you are learning and push this out to new people who are gonna come in and try and trade the market and ultimately, literally, waste four years of their life and then go down the Bitcoin rabbit hole and then start buying Bitcoin when it's six figures where they get like four times less for their money or whatever. So it takes them four times longer to retire early. That kind of matters. So with Bitcoin, if you bought 100 euros in Bitcoin one of the guys in our retire early club uh, shared this stat. If you bought 100 euros worth in Bitcoin in 2013, I think it was. Okay. <clears throat> I should actually get the stat up because I can't remember the exact figure. It's something like 98 million today. Okay, if you've done nothing. If you were out of the market for 10 days, so 10 of Bitcoin's best trading days, you weren't in the market, you missed them because you're a trader, you're a genius, you're going to get rich. Okay, you're going to make money. You've seen a course to teach you how to do all this. And uh, you figure you're the baby. Everyone makes money trading, which they don't. Okay, so of 10 years, you were out of the market for 10 days. You missed the 10 best days. What's your returns? Are you getting your 98 million? It could have been 198 million. I can't remember. What's your 100 euros investment worth in Bitcoin? Any guesses? As Nadia would say. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know who Nadia is, but she's a social media sensation. Fair play to her. I love what she's done. Okay. You're not, your you're 100 euro investment for missing 10 days in the market out of 10 years, 365, multiplied by 10, okay, 3,650 days. If you miss 10 of them, how much your investment work, guys? 98 euros. That was your return. 98 euros! by being in the highest performing asset in all of humanity's history because you missed 10 days out of 3,600. 3,650. 55, whatever it is. Okay, this is why, I'll repeat it again. If you try to trade, you're gonna lose. You're just not gonna win against the market. And guess what, if you invest, Bitcoin has a hard and fast rule. And he was invested in Bitcoin for four years or more. So four years in a day. Five years, six years, seven years, eight years. By being an investor and not a trader, 100% of the humans who've done this are all richer than when they started. 
all of them. 99% of the traders are all poorer. I hope you like the energy, guys. Understand that if your psychology is influencing your emotional decisions right now, you need a strategy. You need to build a thesis and you need a strategy. And uh, I think the best thing you can do, lads, is to, uh, with a retire early club, or uh, book in to be in with me early in January, and let's build your plan and sort this out. Because you have a bull run coming, you have a spot ETF coming, you have a generational opportunity if you get this right. It's worth investing in getting the right information so you do this right. Also, get Bitcoin books off Santi and read them as fast as you can. Also, investing books if you don't understand risk or how to manage risk. And also, technical books so you understand all the custody you need to do to get that right. Or just get in here into the office. Guys, have a super day. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Do it right now. Immediately. It's your daily exercise. Then you out.